the big C. Can you remember the story of the baby in the basket? His name was Moses and God was with him. God had a very special plan for Moses. He was to lead God's people out of Egypt, a place that had treated them so unkindly, to a land that God had promised them. Now, this may seem pretty easy, but in fact, it wasn't. The king of Egypt didn't want to let God's people go. He kept saying no, every time Moses asked him. Even after God sent several warnings to the king in the most unusual forms, like frogs and flies and nasty spots on the skin. But the king was very stubborn. And every time Moses came and said, God said, let my people go. His response was always the same. No. By the time God had sent his 10th disaster, the king had had enough and said, yes, 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 go and leave us. Go and follow your God. If only he had done that the first time. But unfortunately, he was a very stubborn king. So Moses and the Israelites packed up all their belongings, gathered all their sheep and cattle and started on the journey. And God sent a pillar of cloud for them to follow. Now, did I mention that the king was very stubborn? Well, quite soon after Moses and the Israelites had left, the king changed his mind and decided he didn't want them to leave after all. Who else was going to go and do all the hard work in Egypt? So he decided to bring them back. He gathered his huge army with horse-drawn chariots and raced down to catch them up. It was only when the Israelites saw a cloud of dust in the distance did they realize that the king was after them. They tried to move faster, but there were so many of them. The king and his army was getting closer and closer. Then disaster. The Israelites came to the Red Sea. They were trapped. They didn't have any boats, so they couldn't sail across it. And it was so wide, they couldn't swim across it. What would they do? The people were very scared. Moses told them, fear not, stand still and see the Lord rescue you today. God spoke to Moses and said, why are you standing still? Tell the people to keep moving. Raise your walking stick and hold it over the sea. The sea will split. Then the people can walk across the sea on dry land. The pillar of cloud that was usually in front of the Israelites showing them the way went behind them in front of the king and the army. Rather than showing them the way, the cloud became very dark so that they couldn't see anything. But it gave light to the Israelites. So the cloud kept them apart all night. Moses held his stick over the sea. All that night, the Lord drove back the sea with a strong east wind. So he made the sea become dry ground and the water became a big wall on each side. It must have been such an unusual sight to see. The Israelites went through the sea without even getting their tiniest toe wet. But God did not let the soldiers follow them. God had rescued his people. God sent the pillar of cloud for Moses and the Israelites to follow once again. God was with his people, showing them the way to go. 
and they were following him.